Hello everybody and welcome back to a new vlog. I'm back with another hotel stay. I feel like my content is changing a bit, but I've got Paul here with me for a little bit. Look at that posture. <laughs> Anyways, we are at the Francis Hotel M Gallery. I don't understand which one comes first if I'm completely honest with you. But we've got a little gallery on the wall. They've got a little gallery on the wall. Let me show you. I, th I thought you would have said Arca E. Mm. Arca E. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wonder. I, I wonder, wonder what Phony took those on for the selfie. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, this is our room. And when I say our room, I mean my room. <laughs> so we're in a bit of a predicament when hotels aren't dog friendly. Yeah, we can't leave them. We can't leave them. And so often Leanne will take the dogs, but she's going on holiday soon, so. Which is quite selfish. Because where's she going? States. Yeah, America. Yeah, but she's bringing me back Advil, Advil, Advil. <laughs> Anyways, um, so Paul's actually gonna go back home, uh, and then I'll be staying here overnight, but you know what? I've been away this week, um, I really need to get some work done, so it kind of works out. Um, and then tomorrow, my friend Meg, I don't think I've ever showed Meg to you guys. She's from South Africa. Can you do a South African accent? South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> she's from South Africa, but she goes to university in Bristol. Now she's coming to Bath for an event later tomorrow, well, lunchtime-ish. Now I was supposed to go to that event, but I told them no because I was doing this collaboration. Now with that, um, now they don't have any more space, I can't come to the event, and that's totally okay. I'm gonna meet up with um, Meg and Ra. We're gonna take some pictures, and then when they are done their event, Meg is gonna stay with me tomorrow and have dinner with me tomorrow and breakfast with me on Sunday. <laughs> Now, tonight, back to tonight. I don't know if this is like very all over the place. I think it's all over the place. But this is gonna need editing. It's gonna need editing. <laughs> but tonight, we are actually headed into Comptoir at Lebanay, which we've definitely showed you guys before, but they offered to have us in for dinner, and I was like, yeah, because we're gonna be in Bath anyways. So that's I'm why. By this. Yeah, I'm starving. Starving. Anyways, I'm gonna show you around the room now, now that I've talked for two minutes and 40 seconds. So, here's the room. <laughs> There's a Paul. And look at this. How cute. Right? And then Thorntons. I've worked with Thorntons before actually on their bear cake. And then there's me, which I'm wearing the exact same dress I would have laughed talked to you guys in, which is kind of annoying. And then they've got a closet with some robe, um, coffee, oh, slippers. Um, but to me, the favorite part is... Now this is one of their superior rooms, whatever that means. But you know, I might have to get a really nice shot in here. Cause I mean, how cool is that? And then yeah, this is what we're looking at. Then here, anyways. I, it's, I hope it's quiet and I think I can't hear somebody else's TV through the wall. Okay, t I tell them. For a quiet room. Tell them why you're saying that. Basically just now when we were checking in, there was a guy complaining at front desk. But here's the thing, you can't hear anything in these Georgian townhomes. You cannot- They're like this, aren't they? <laughs> yes, yes, I can hear the tiny, yes. <laughs> But seriously, like these, I'm gonna show you the outside of the building or I may have already shown you the outside of the building, but like they're like pure stone, these buildings, that there's no way you're hearing anything through the walls, like no way. But yeah, anyways, we're just waiting for, is it Bellboy, the Bellboy? Is yeah. it a Bellboy? Yeah. I feel like there's probably a more grown up yeah. name I, for that. Yeah, is that derogatory? Yeah, I feel like it is. <laughs> <laughs> so the man that took the car. The hotel employee. The chalet? Valley. No, I think it's a chalet. Chalet is what you stay in, in by the beach. Oh, valet, you're right. The valet. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking the car um, round and then just supposed to be bringing up the luggage. I hope he comes soon because we wanted to take a couple of pictures of Paul, but you know, the, the, his outfits are in the bag. So anyways, I'm going to go do something else now. Heads or tails? You're pretty unlucky to get tails on you. <laughs> All right, you guys, we made it out of the hotel room. Time for food. <laughs> All right, we are here. We have our lemonade. I get this lemonade every time I come here. Uh, basically, it is the rumana and it's pomegranate and orange blossom and it's so tasty. You can also turn it into like an alcoholic cocktail uh, by adding vodka to it, which I've had that way too. <laughs> Whoa! 
everybody. Oh my goodness, I slept like a log. <laughs> um, but it's another day. I believe it's gonna be 24 degrees today, which is crazy. It's like almost the end of September. Um, but yeah, how exciting. Um, I've just ordered some breakfast. I'll show you what I got in a second. And then actually some of my friends are gonna be um, in Bath today, so I'm gonna meet up with them and get some pictures and stuff. And then um, my friend Meg is gonna come stay with me tonight, which is gonna be cool, and we're gonna go for dinner. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I've got going on today. Now I've just ordered some breakfast to the room. Now I will say it's worth noting, um, they do charge five pounds to bring it to the room, which I was un unaware of. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I got. All right, so I went with some carrot juice, um, and then the eggs Florentine, and then some pastries, and then some fruit. I just got back from Spain. I didn't vlog it for you guys, but, um, I don't know, you would have thought in Spain there would have been, like, a ton of fruit, and there wasn't. And my body is just craving greens. My face is still very swollen from, obviously, drinking a little bit, and then I just think excessive salt. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I am like craving some fresh fruit. Anyways, I'm going to dig in and yeah, then we'll get going. Okay, you guys, I'm ready. And I'm with Meg Fisher. <laughs> so we're actually on our way to an event. What What is the event again? It's I know called it's called the Loving Our High Streets. Um, yeah. Yeah, Loving Our High Streets. And I think they're taking us to a few different high street stores around yeah. Bath, right? Yeah, and then we have the Botanist Lunch. And then really the Botanist nice. Lunch is my, actually my second time going. You went there as well, right? Well, yeah. We yeah. It's one of my favorite places in Boston. It is really good and it's really pretty. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we are back at the hotel. A quick outfit change because it is boiling outside and we're gonna edit some pictures. <laughs> the life of an influencer. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I would quickly go through what was in this goodie bag from this event. So basically, um, we went there with Visit Bath and uh, basically they're promoting the Milsom High Street and like the stores that are there. So honestly, this is like a massive goodie bag. So I thought I would show you what's in here. So, first things first, is a spiced orange candle from Oka, Scent for Living. That's nice. Sounds like it'll be perfect for fall. And then a uh, Bath Children Liter Literature Festival. I can't even say it. And then a scarf from Portman. And then, oh, you guys, there's so much stuff in here. I don't even know if I can show it all to you. And a another scarf with gold stars. A... Print. And I know I saw a Pandora thing, didn't I? Was it Pandora? Maybe not. Oh, that's what it is. You know your branding's on point when. <laughs> Anyways, we are just gonna quickly edit up some photos and then go outside and shoot again. Okay, you guys, another outfit change, and we are <laughs> going to the circus. Not any type of circus, not like the animal type of circus, but I don't know how to describe it. I'll just show you. But quick little outfit change to get a picture, obviously. And a little bit of a walk because it is so nice out. I'll so tell you guys, this is the circus. Basically, it's like a crescent of townhouses type thing. If you guys have seen my vlog when my friend Adrian was here back in January, this is where, this is where we came. Anyways, <laughs> we're now gonna head over to the Royal Crescent. I love it in the spring because the wisteria is like amazing. Um, but yeah, show you around. Yeah, wisteria or hysteria for the wisteria. 
<laughs> okay, you guys, we are off to dinner. Say hi, Meg. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the hotel, well, it's not really in the hotel, but it's like, I mean, it's in the same building, but it's like, oh, but this, this, I don't know if they've refurbed down there, because that looks like a completely different vibe than here. Yeah, look at the floor, the carpet change, show them the carpet change. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, we probably think <laughs> yeah, they're probably thinking we're crazy. Anyways. Hysterical. Oh yes, hysterical. <laughs> Meg has been telling me the history behind the word hysterical today. Anyways, we, um, yeah, we're going to, oh, we went down one too much. This is what I did earlier. Um, we're going to Brasserie Blanc. <laughs> it's like basically attached to the hotel, but yeah, I think it's like a part of the hotel, but not type thing. But that's where we're going for dinner. <laughs> Got me feeling like the elephant in every room I'm walking into, yeah We started out innocent till I got pulled right into your issue, yeah, yeah. I'm tired of sending hugs and kisses, oh uh. I'm tired of all your burning bridges It's like, damn, why you gotta be so cold in the summertime? Okay, you guys, we are so stuffed and we are back in the room. There's so many friendly people out in the hallway. It's crazy. I feel like whenever I come to Bath, I, I come across other like North Americans and it's, it's nice. They're so friendly. <laughs> Anyways, as you would have seen, dinner was so filling, but so tasty. Um, I went with the mussels to start. Meg had the corn chowder. And then for our mains, I had the fish curry and then a Thai salad. And then Meg had the salmon. Yeah, the salmon and then salmon. spinach. Yeah, it looked good. And then we both had the pavlova, which looked so good. But oh my gosh, then someone got the pistachio souffle and that came oh out. It, I had all the regrets. Anyways, we are going to introvert out <laughs> and do some computer work. <laughs> and then tomorrow we go back to Bristol. So been a nice little, I want to say staycation, even though we're not really staying anywhere because we had to travel to get here. But really, it's a 15 minute train ride from Bristol. So yeah, anyways. We're gonna watch some TV and do some work. Good morning! Now. We are feeling fresh to death. We've had some coffee, <laughs> but let me show you. It's pouring. <laughs> and there was one shot that I wanted to get outside. That's definitely not gonna happen, but it's all right. These things happen. Anyways, we are gonna go downstairs for a quick breakfast, and I thought I would take you guys with me. And then Meg is gonna head back to Bristol. I'm gonna wait for Paul to come pick me up because I just cannot deal with this. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna head back to Bristol. Anyways, let's go for breakfast. <laughs>
because Meg has left and I am just about to do some work until Paul comes to get me. It stopped raining, go figure, but it was a perfect stay and just what I needed. A little bit of a staycation, but you know, 20 minutes away in Bath. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next one.